It is the Nissan 370Z Heritage Edition from Tamiya, and it is today's What's in the Box. Hey guys, welcome to another What is in the Box, and today we are taking a look at the Nissan 370Z Heritage Edition, or the Fair Lady Z Heritage Edition from Tamiya. Now this is going to be a modified reissue. This kit was first reissued, or first issued, excuse me, in 2009. Now they've reissued it here again in 2018 with a couple of new bits and pieces, wheels and decals, and voila, you have a Heritage Edition. I don't believe there's actually a whole lot of new stuff in this kit. I think really it just comes down to the wheels and whatnot are really the new uh, and the decals. I don't think the body has actually changed that much between tw uh, the 09 models and the 18 model or 17 model. This one has been, the Heritage Edition has been available for a couple of years now, actually, according to my research. My research also led me to believe that this is going to be uh, the color of yellow hasn't been is not currently offered on the Heritage Edition, so you would have to it would be for I think the 2017 or 2018 model year when yellow was offered. The only color choices for the current Heritage Edition are black and white. So if, all this only matters if you plan on building it with factory colors. If not, then none of this information matters to you, and I'm just wasting your time. I think with that out of the way, let's jump into it and see what is in the box. And as you can see, the body is molded in a nice, lovely shade of yellow. I really wish we could get away from molding kits in color. I just prefer a nice white or gray kit to start with. You know, it's a blank canvas. I'm just not a big fan of molded in color. Again, personal opinion here. As you can see, it is a multi-piece body. The front fascia is separate and the rocker panel side panels are separate and obviously you can see it is a curbside too. And moving right along to the parts that contains the rest of the body parts. <clears throat> see if there we have the all the rest of the body parts and they're all of course molded in yellow as well. And the next part straight, which is basically going to be all the uh, majority of the suspension parts. Chassis with the molded in detail, a lot of it. And a little bit of everything parts tree here, both interior and some running gear bits and pieces. As you can see there, you have your choice of your dashboard down there, left and right hand. Over there, there is the uh, terrier bucket. And then we'll take a look at the rest of the other side of the parts tree. Now move on to the uh, clear parts real quick. They have your clear parts, your windows, and the transparent red for the tail lights and brake lights. Now we'll take a look at the plated bits up first, the headlight tail light buckets, along with the exhaust tips. and the wheels with a couple other parts on there. I like this satin finish or dull finish plating. I like it a lot better than the chrome finish. Now we'll take a look at the tires. They are going to be, unfortunately, they are going to be uh, blank sidewall tires. If the blank sidewalls. And yes, unfortunately, metal axle and the poly caps. And last but not least, first the window masking and metal transfer sheet. And the decal sheet, which you can see there. You have your choice of two different color choices for the striping, so you can do dark color or light color 
as well as some in, uh, interior decals or what have you. So that is decal sheet. So there you have it. That is the Nissan 370Z Heritage Edition or three or Fair Lady Z Heritage Edition from Tamiya, the modified re issue that is going to do it i don't have anything else to add about this kit so don't forget if you already haven't done it please subscribe if you like the content you like what i'm doing and if you like what i'm doing give it a good old thumbs up and if not well then i guess you can give it a thumbs down so on that note thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time mm -hmm.